Okay, here are some um, some new rolling stock that I had bought. I bought these a little while back and never opened them. They're from Walther's, made by Walther's, and they're A and P Lumber Products cars. Um, don't actually know how long they are. Maybe they were 50 feet, 53 feet? I don't know. Um, but I'm going to open these up and weigh them in on the scale here. And uh, make sure that they uh, meet the uh, NMRA criteria for weight. Um, just got my little... Uh, Scale here, and let's open these up. I like the way Walters packages things; They're really nicely done. They're inside, you know, of a it's, an, it's a box inside of a box. Like say, these two boxes inside of that large box. These cars look really nice. Um, get the little bubble wrap halfway around them. Looks like they're actually, they had been sitting on the shelf for quite a while in that store. I bought them in a small hobby shop, in Saddler's Hobby Shop. Which specialized in HO scale trains and for that color of that uh, plastic inner it looks like they've been there for a while I think they have plastic wheels so yep gonna have to change out the wheels uh, they look nice though bottom is real detailed and they have the railing, the uh, rods up this way. I guess the whole entire side of the car opens. It says Rainier Canada Thrall Door Car. I guess that's what that means when all the doors open, the whole side opens up. Well, let's take a measurement, see how long they are. Uh, they're well, seven and three quarters approximately, so let's just say eight inches. So the NMR, NMRA specifications would be to initially add one ounce and then a half ounce for each inch. So they're eight inches long, so that's four ounces, four and one, five ounces. So let's weigh this guy in here exactly five ounces so we're right on the money all I gotta do is put some metal wheels it already has knuckle couplers on it um that's strange because that's actually rusty you believe it these cars have been around for a while I mean I don't even have to weather that part there it's actually rusty <laughs> so See, it's still got the, has the spring back mechanism, not a spring, but a plastic. Well, if they're a little rusty, I don't know if the couplers are going to exactly work like they should, as efficiently. But I can always put a little bit of oil on it. So that's it. I'm going to turn around and put some metal wheels on that. And then I'll be back with a video where I'll be running them on my layout.